Hey there and welcome back to making a fast panda from scratch and next up I am gonna be working more on the legs and I'll start working on the sensor on the back as well first up then I'm just working on the back of the legs I'll just put blob here, blob here and what I want is to have it tapered so it's narrow towards the heel and far towards the sort of the calf so it's kind of like a calf muscle slash the housing for the machinery for the calf muscle in this case and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut towards the bottom so it becomes like two separate panels and that will be the back of the legs or the back of the lower part of the legs built in. So here you can see I've just smoothed them in to form those uh, slightly broader at the top, narrow at the bottom bits, and I just had a little divot left on the two heels. And now I'm just going to run a slash through them, so I'll just do that and show you what that looks like. So there you have it. I've just run the slashes through the ankles there, so it gives me my two distinct panels. And then I'll have to wait for that to dry, but that'll be the last bit on the lower leg before putting on the front plate. Next up, I'm going to move on to uh, the sensor pack here. Here we have it then, I've just done the last bit, so I just put a circle, a small blob in, put it flat, try to make the bottom edge so it has the hexagon type base. Use the tip of the all spike just to put the three dots in and then had to re-squish it together to make it a little bit more hexagonal again to keep it neat. So then finally I'm just going to work on the chest a bit and put the chest plate on. Like so. So here's the blob just applied to the chest and you might notice that it's quite close to the neck. It comes quite up over the shoulder so I'm now going to make it so it comes up over the shoulder and links in with the pack so that that becomes one kind of continuous piece around the neck down over the chest. So I'll get back to you in a second once I've shaped all of that. Because I'm going to squidge it down to push it forward so I want the chest to come out and back in. And we shall see what it looks like in just a second. Here we have it then. Chest plate all put in. Divide it down the centre. And up around over the shoulder. So there you go, we've done uh, the back of the legs here, which I did accidentally squeeze and had to redo. Uh, the back, and then the chest. So this is the nature of this kind of thing, unfortunately. It's just a case of piecemeal, little bits at a time, what you can do as you can do it. So I hope there's been some interest to you and you're making cool stuff and it's coming out really well. Thank you for watching, have a good one, take care. Bye bye.